Hi, I'm Warren Schlichting, and I lead the programming team here at DISH. I want to apologize for interrupting your summer with the news that this station is currently being blacked out to DISH customers by Meredith Corporation, the broadcaster that owns the channel. They're demanding from DISH, and by extension you, their viewer, an outrageous rate increase for the exact same news, sports, and shows they provide for free over the air. I understand it's frustrating to lose access to a channel you enjoy, but the fact is only a station owner can make the decision to black out its channels. Now, why would they do that? Plain and simple, they want more money. They want to make it hurt, so you'll pay them to stop. Broadcasters around the country have been doing this to all pay TV providers for years. Believe it or not, the fees broadcasters charge TV providers like DISH to carry local channels are 330 times what they were in 2005. I know that sounds crazy. It is crazy. But unfortunately, it's also true. Nowhere else do prices go up like that. Not for food, not for your house, and unfortunately, not your paycheck. We take this situation seriously, and we're doing everything we can to restore your channel. Our goal from the beginning was to never have an interruption. We've offered Meredith Corporation every opportunity to extend the contract so this channel would remain available to you, but they have refused. So as we continue our work to restore this station, we want to make you aware of a couple of solutions right now that may work for you. Many shows are available online and you may already have a device that will play it on your TV. Another option may be to use an over-the-air antenna. It's easy to forget, but local TV stations still broadcast their channels for free over the public airwaves, and you may be able to watch them for free with an antenna. We have DISH customers across the country using an over-the-air antenna to watch their local stations. Now, it's important to know that antenna reception depends on your location. So, give us a call to find out the best solution for you. In the meantime, I want you to know that I promise our entire company is working as hard as possible and will work as long as it takes to reach an agreement with a broadcaster. Visit dishpromise.com to find more viewing options and get regular updates on this negotiation. Thank you for your patience and your support while we work around the clock to reach a deal. And thank you for being a DISH customer. Hello, I'm Christina. Do you ever go to one of your TV channels and not see your programming? Ever wonder why that happens? Ever get mad about it? Here's what I've learned. As you probably know, cable and satellite TV companies sign contracts with all the broadcasters. The broadcasters send their signal to cable and satellite companies, and that company delivers a signal to your house, sort of like a mailman. TV companies have to get permission from the station's owner to retransmit their signal. Sometimes when the broadcasters and the TV providers get into negotiations, the broadcasters take away the signal. It's a power move on their part. They may even do this if the channel they want more money for isn't a local channel. That's right, the broadcasters think they can hold local channels hostage to get higher rates on unrelated channels you may not even watch. It's no coincidence that this usually happens before a big television event or premiere, knowing this would inconvenience viewers the most. They may even run ads suggesting viewers switch TV providers, knowing full well that those other providers are stuck in the same boat, paying fees to the same broadcasters. Switching TV providers is not the answer. While TV companies have different contract expiration dates with broadcasters, all TV companies face the same problem. Unfortunately, the broadcasters keep asking for more and more money for signals available to some for free over the airwaves. They do this with disregard to the fact that many Americans rely on satellite TV companies to receive their local channels because they live too far away from the broadcaster's signal. The negotiations keep happening because an outdated ruling from Washington forces satellite and cable companies to pay for these free signals. So the broadcasters actually figured out how to get paid twice, and they've been getting away with it. They get money from the TV providers, and they get paid more by advertisers because they're getting a bigger audience. From the way broadcasters have been increasing prices, they seem to think that they have access to nearly unlimited funds. The broadcasters have a monopoly, and they're taking advantage of that. The TV providers are working together to stop the broadcasters from raising prices to numbers almost too big to believe. Numbers that directly impact your monthly television bill. What kind of numbers are we talking about? 
Broadcasters have raised prices by as much as 40% per year, multiple years in a row. During the same period, annual cable and satellite bills only increased 5% per year on average. To put it into perspective, imagine if the $3 gallon of milk bought from the grocery store three years ago cost more than $8 today. Something needs to be done before that gallon of milk costs $12 or more the following year. The satellite and cable companies are negotiating to keep prices down. And with help from the government, outdated rules can be changed to end broadcaster blackouts. You should have access to local channels, but at a fair price. And TV providers like this one are working around the clock to make that happen. Check out this website for more information.